Another Chicagoan, Chico Carrascal, will aid Keene with the shortstop duties. This will be the fourth all-star game for the fancy fielding Venezuelan. Our history, with Joe Nuxall pitching, Carrascal flies to Mays at the start of the 11th inning. The inning's over when Carrascal pegs out long. Louis Aparicio, Chicago White Sox. Aparicio and Mari Wills compare notes. Each has stolen over 400 bases. The young third sacker slashes the ball through the middle. But there goes Aparicio and he reaches out and spears it. What a play. It looked like it was through there for a hit. Now little Louis puts on the brake and throws perfectly to first base. Though Kennedy just can't believe it. And neither can the crowd. Davalio. Hitting 321. The third baseman, Richie Allen, guarding... 333 is a pinch hitter. The Royals had a run in the second, three in the fourth, a big six-run fifth inning, another run in the sixth. Big Davalio will lead it off now for the Oakland A's as they've in the top of the ninth. Score tied 2-2. Davalio is one for three. You saw him throwing the All-Star game. I was there, and that's one of his problems. He can try and throw the ball too hard. And he's got such a good fastball, but there are times in a game when, let's say, he's one more time and to participate in the World Series. With two out and two on, Davalio bunts the ball. Greg Nettles barehanded, throws to Munson, and they can't get Garvey at the plate. And Davalio legs it out. And Dusty Baker doing it. First base runner for the Reds since the first inning. And the top of their order is coming up. Bobby Tolan has struck out and grounded out. He is going to bat. Marquez has been an excellent pinch hitter in this postseason play for Oakland. Kurt, he was made active for the playoffs in the place of a pitcher, actually, with special permission from the Detroit Tigers, who were given special permission for a... Pinch hit. And six times up. And Tommy... There was ill down in uh, Venezuela, and he also felt he should have had a major league contract, didn't get it. One strike to him. He bloops it in the left center. It's going to be in for a big hit. Here comes Bingo in the score. Dean Pennis goes to third. He's safe. We'll be on the air tomorrow. Hope that you will be joining us on television. 1.30 start tomorrow. And then we'll be on Monday morning at 10.55. Alvarado's throw. Petroselli trying to make the play, but not in time. And it's going to be a short to second to first. Double play again, and Lolik is off the hook again. Second double play that has helped him out in the last two innings. And there is the pitcher's greatest. The batter... Tovar, he has flied to center, popped to Scott, grounded to Adair at third, and flied deep to Smith in center field. As Reggie made a fine running catch on him in the seven. Fly ball to left field. Yastrzemski running hard, can't get there in time. Tovar is digging for a double, and he is in at second base. With two out in the ninth inning. Boston ahead six to two. Tobar loops a double down into the left field corner. Very high and in foul. Tobar under it. That's it. And that's all. 
three innings, three plus innings of no hit baseball before giving up a two out walk in the last inning to Tony for scroll plateward for his second shot at the Boston right hander tonight. Davy is 0 for 1 and a fly ball to right field his first time up. 1 for 9 so far in this 1975 World Series. This young man has as his goal to be the best Venezuelan shortstop in the history of Major League Baseball. And mm. well, you're talking about <laughs> Tony Chico Carrasquel and Louis Aparicio mm. as forerunners. Talk about Aparicio, you're talking about something. First pitch on the inside part of the plate for a taken strike. Concepcion questioning plate umpire Larry Barnett about that pitch. And I closed out the season very, very strong. In fact, he had 340 the final month of the year and closed out the year with a nine-game hitting streak. He hits one a ton back in the left center field. Looking up is his friend. He is gone. Taking the grand tour as he takes Rick Wise downtown with a shot to left center field, and now the Reds go out in front three to one. No matter what happens the rest of this ball game, win or lose, the headlines in the Venezuelan papers are going to be Concepcion, and that's front page. That's what happened in the championship series when he homered against Pittsburgh. You mentioned those two names, Pariscal and Aparicio, played against both both Marty and Kirk. Concepcion has more all around ability than either of them. Manny Trio. He used Mike Schmidt as a runner when he came out to remove you. Said Jim Palmer, what took you so long? <laughs> yeah, he was he was tired going in.